In this last video, we'll be looking at how to calculate Vmax and Km from a wolf plot. So we'll jump back over into Excel and I'll show you how you do this. So we are back in Excel. We've got the same data that we've used for both the Line Weaver Burke and the ED Hosty plot. This time we're going to be looking at the wolf plot. Now the wolf plot requires you to plot the substrate concentration divided by the velocity against the substrate concentration. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new column here, which is my substrate concentration divided by my velocity. That is going to be equal to A2 divided by B2. And then I will copy that formula down just as I've done before to get those values. Now this time, because I've got my substrate concentration on the left here, I can compress the control key on my Mac and scroll down and that will select both these columns. So I'm going to plot the substrate concentration against the substrate concentration divided by the velocity. If I go back to insert, X, Y, scatter and select scatter graph, you can see we get a linear trend. Again, if I click on one of the data points, right click, add trend line, we get our linear trend line because our linear version is selected already. I can click on display equation on chart and I've already worked out what I need my backward forecast to be. Now, of course, when you do this yourselves, you are going to need to work out your own backwards and forwards forecasts as necessary. So your values will not be the same as me, so you'll need to play around. OK, so for the wolf plot, 1 over B max is equal to the gradient. So therefore, B max is going to be equal to 1 divided by the gradient. So that's equal to 1 divided by the gradient, which we have from our equation here. So that's going to be 0 0.0246. So our B max works out at 40.65. Km is equal to the negative x intercept. So we're going to have to rearrange our y equals mx plus c version of the formula here to solve for when y is equal to 0. Because it's a negative intercept, it's going to be equal to minus 0 minus 2.0436, all divided by 0 0.0246. And that gives us a Km of 83.07. So that is how you would get Vmax and Km from a wolf plot. 